Last year, a team from New York University ran a study to explain how people make decisions. They wanted to know what factors matter to people and what goes through somebody's head as they're deciding a course of action. According to the study, most people have three lenses through which they decide any decision. And what's interesting is that each of these lenses often uses a different part of the brain. First, there is the moral lens. This decides if something is right or wrong, mostly based on social norms and collective values. For instance, will saying this mean thing make somebody sad? The moral lens operates out of our higher order brain regions like the orbitofrontal cortex. Second, there is the pragmatic lens. How easy or difficult is this thing to do? We might choose the cheapest or the nearest option, for example. Finally, the hedonic lens will ask how much pleasure this thing will give me, both in the short and the long term. Both the pragmatic and the hedonic lenses use similar brain regions that deal with emotions and regulations such as the amygdala. There are two philosophical implications to this. The first is that we can become much more aware of our own decision-making process. Which of the lenses do I tend to prioritise and is that right? The second is that we are better able to resist manipulation because if somebody is trying to persuade us to change our minds, they will often appeal to one or more of these lenses. Rationalising the process helps us clarify what's going on. So which of the lenses do you tend to prioritise more? Is it the moral, the pragmatic or the hedonic?